Flav City family. We are at Dunkin' Donuts because America runs on it. And because of that, we got to hit here as the next spot of our fast food review series. Uh, this was a very popular request and I'm super excited because I did my homework before I came here and there are some really, really solid, healthy, I'm talking healthy, nutrient dense options at Dunkin' Donuts. I was blown away. There's also the flip side, some really, really bad ones. So we're going to do what we always do. Go in there, order almost the entire menu and tell you what's good, what's bad, and why, because it's all about, if you're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and get in this very long line of drive-through, what's the best quality stuff to put in your body? So let's go do our thing at Dunkin'. Now, before we do, like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love. It's the only way the community keeps growing, but it's also the only way we help you all put the best quality stuff in your body. All right, let's go into Dunkin' and do our thing. Woo, Florida, baby, that's how we roll. All right, we got everything off the menu basically, and I'm super excited because we're gonna start with the best and most healthy option to get here at Dunkin' Donuts, and it is this. This, my friends, is the Power Breakfast Sandwich. And when I actually read the ingredients online, I kind of jumped for joy because it had ingredients I haven't seen in almost any other fast food joint. We'll talk about that in a second, but this looks scrum diddly umptious, like Ned Flanders says. I gotta try a bite. Mmm. Wow. Hold on. Chaser. Mm. Coffee and power breakfast sandwich. Strong like bowl. It actually tastes kind of healthy. And if we bring the old highlighted notes like we always do, I'm going to tell you why this is the healthiest, most nutrient dense thing on the menu. The power breakfast sandwich. First of all, it has 25 grams of protein, which is really what you want in the morning. But how do they do that? with really good ingredients. So the veggie egg white omelet is made with real ingredients, egg whites, peppers, spinach. But do you see the oil? The predominant oil they're using here is extra virgin olive oil. At Dunkin' Donuts, we have yet to see that in all of our fast food reviews. Extra virgin olive oil is one of the heart healthiest polyphenol antioxidant rich oils around and that's the predominant oil. And when you keep reading, I don't see anything really terrible there. The turkey sausage meat, which is nicely seasoned, is turkey meat, turkey skin, and water. There's no mystery meat, or as I like to call it, lips and buttholes, right? It's real turkey. It's not organic, but it's fast food. Who cares? But what I love about this sandwich, and what sets it apart from any other one, is the bread. The bread is their, uh, what is it? The multi-grain thin. This multi-grain thin is too legit to quit. So check it out. It's made of, uh, grain and seed blend, quinoa, chia seeds, flax seeds, which are high in omega-3s, chia seeds, high in protein, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, which are high in zinc, all seeds, all whole grains, buckwheat groats. That is one of the most nutrient-dense, complex carbohydrate buns I've seen yet, even compared to a place like Panera. Wow, wow, wee, wow. That's impressive. And then only after that, towards the very end, is soybean oil. It's always going to be on a menu at a fast food joint, but it's the bottom. Remember, when ingredients are listed, it's from predominant to least. So the predominant one is EVOO and soybean, GMO soybean oil at the bottom. And the cheddar on here, right, that mm, scrumptious white cheddar is real cheddar cheese, which it isn't for one of the other sandwiches. So, uh -huh. that with just a cup of joe that America runs on, the Power Breakfast Sandwich is the best thing on the menu. One of the best things I've seen on any menu anywhere from any fast food joint. So high five to you, Dunkin' Donuts. And then if you don't want the um, turkey, just get this one. This one is the veggie egg white omelet. All the same ingredients, but without that um, turkey uh, sausage on there. So wow, those two are best in class. Now we'll follow up with something that's probably worse than class. So you can't come to Dunkin' Donuts without getting a donut. I actually really wanted to get the maple long john here because I used to get those back in the day and they didn't have it today. So I got the vanilla frosted donut. I haven't had something like this in ages. I got to do it for the video, right? So, oh, <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, wow. Coffee and a donut, soft, spongy, sugary. That's good. Now we all know donuts are bad for you, right? You expect there would be sugar and a lot of carbs. The problem is, if I break out my notes here, I have a lot of yellow on this one here, but it was kind of surprising. No donut is good for you, but they're frying or cooking the donuts in palm oil. 
raise your hand if you cook with palm oil at home. Anyone? No, no one cooks with palm oil at home. You can't even buy it at the darn grocery store. They do it in the restaurants because what does Kevin O'Leary say on Shark Tank, Brad? Money. Money. It's cheap as can be. It's also horrible for the environment. So they're frying it in palm oil, which is very refined, very processed, and very inflammatory. But if that were it, I might be okay with it. There's also carrageenan, which we'll talk about later. But if you go down here, the vanilla flavored icing has no vanilla. So how do they do it? Well, with natural flavors with high fructose GMO corn syrup, which is actually banned in other countries, but they do it with my good old friend, artificial flavors. Artificial flavors in the donut? What does Manis Calco say? Why will you do that? Just put some vanilla extract or just vanilla natural flavor. They're putting the artificial flavors in there, which is terrible. So I would highly recommend passing on that donut. That's a no-go. The black coffee is a go. So I'll go with that for sure. Uh, before I move on, I want to talk about this again. We talked about it in the McDonald's video the other week, the probiotic from Seed. If you're eating this kind of food, you're going to need all the gut health help you can get. This is a game changer of a probiotic that's actually a prebiotic probiotic called a symbiotic. Seed is a game changer because I keep talking about this and people are loving it. Most probiotics actually never make it to your colon, they die in your stomach. The problem is your stomach acids eat up the living probiotics. The cool thing about seed is that the outer layer here is made of pomegranates and the outer layer only dissolves in your stomach and because pomegranates have a lot of fiber, it's a prebiotic, it feeds your gut bacteria. And the inner one, where the 24 strains of uh, probiotics and bacteria actually make it through your um, intestines all the way to your colon and delivers 24 strains of deliciousness, deliciousness, it delivers 24 strains of bacteria that actually help with gut health, immune system, skin, and all that jazz. This is legit. Everyone who's tried it has really enjoyed it. If you need help in the old bowel movement category, this is what you want. I got the promo code for you guys. You Use it down below in the description box. Go to Seed website. It gets you 15% off your first month supply. It's 30 days risk-free and it ships worldwide. There might be a waiting list now because it's been so popular. I get on the list. It's shipping really, really quick and use my promo code. You will love it like everyone else has. This is legit. And the black coffee here is really good. And I'm going to tell you why you want to stick to that in a second, but that looks amazing, right? This is the signature latte butter pecan flavor. If you look at that photo right there on the sign, that one looks a little prettier than this. This one's been sitting for a few minutes, but this is sc sc scary, like really scary. Ned Campbell scary from back in the day, but I got to try it for y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy cow. That is liquid dessert. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My brain's just like, whoa. Okay, so Signature Latte in the medium size, this looks like venti size, this is medium, Brad, has 55 grams of sugar. You heard me correctly, there's 55 grams of insulin producing sugar in here. Just to put that in perspective, there's four grams of sugar in a teaspoon, which means there's what? 14-ish teaspoons in here. The average American eats about 19 and a half grand, uh, teaspoons of sugar a day, which is still too much. This is 14. Oh my gosh. What's scary also is how they do that. It's not just with cane sugar. It's with high fructose corn syrup, which if you got this drink in like the UK or other countries, I assume they have Duncan in the UK, they can't use that. They have to use real cane sugar or non-GMO glucose syrup. High fructose corn syrup is sweeter than sugar, more addictive, and way, way worse for you. But what's very interesting to me is there's also artificial flavors in here. I guess that's why that butter pecan is singing on my tongue right now. There's carrageenan in the cream. Carrageenan is a nasty inflammation-inducing seaweed emulsifier. You're much better off with other emulsifiers like um, gel and gum and stuff. Um, but there's also caramel coloring in here just to make it look brown, but caramel coloring to some people is a um, known carcinogen. And there's also palm oil in here, two kinds of palm oil, I guess to make it like thick and luxurious. Palm oil, just like soy and canola is highly refined, highly processed and highly, highly inflammatory. You want that out of your body. I don't even want to take another sip of that. That's bad. Stick with the regular black coffee. Let me cleanse my palate. Ooh, Bobby runs on Dunkin' now. That's great or the iced coffee here. Mm. 
on a hot South Florida day. I feel like uh, Kramer from Seinfeld. You want a cafe latte? I can get you a cafe latte. That's good too. You have to stay away from any drink that has added sugar, even the iced matcha. You're like, oh, matcha is really good for you, which it is. Matcha tea is the whole green tea leaf ground up, has higher antioxidants and much, much better for you. But you're like, ooh, I didn't know matcha was so sweet. It's not, it's not sweet at all. But when you add 32 grams of sugar here, which is what, uh, eight teaspoons of sugar here, you pretty much get rid of any of the health benefits of your matcha green tea. You have to get stuff that has no added sugar. Just get the black coffee, America runs on it, and the iced one, which is actually super duper refreshing. Okay, so let's get back to the menu here. Maybe you stop for a bagel and uh, a coffee and a bagel, right? This is very, very deceiving. Pay attention here. This, my friends, is the multi-grain bagel. And they also have the multi-grain thin here. So you're gonna think they're the same, right? the devil's in the details, and this is why we do this kind of video, is because no one reads the ingredients on the website that we do. The multi-grain bagel here looks healthy. You see nuts, you see seeds, and all that stuff. The problem is, it's really not whole grain. It's multi-simple grain. The first ingredient is enriched wheat flour. Enriched wheat flour is the whole wheat that's been stripped of all the goodness, right? The, the bran, the hull, the fiber. It's a simple carbohydrate, and it also has vegetable oil in here, like canola and soy, and dough conditioners. Dough conditioners are used in cheap breads to make them rise quickly so you can churn and burn them out to make more money. It's not really a good multi-grain. Wheat is a grain. You want whole grain, complex carbohydrate um, grain. So instead, just get this. Ask for the multi-grain thin and spread on some cream cheese because the multi-grain thin is made with the real whole wheat flour all the nuts and seeds like ch ch chia, amaranth, none of the canola, and none of the um, dough conditioners. It does have a touch of soybean oil, but you're way better off with this, with a little bit of plain cream cheese spread, right? Don't get the strawberry one. Don't get the flavored one, because those have gobs and gobs of sugar. Just get this. I'm turning into a glutton now. Mm, that with the plain cream cheese. Hold, please. Oh, that's good. Mmm, flat, cream cheese, black coffee. That's the only bagel or bread I would get here. None of the pastries are healthy. It's the multi-grain thin, plain cream cheese, cup of joe, boom, you're good to go. By the way, people are in line at every Dunkin' Donuts we drove by to get here. No one wants to come inside. They all want to wait 20 minutes in their car. Ooh, making a smoothie. A little butter pecan for you, Brad. <laughs> This is interesting because we talked about the healthy power breakfast sandwich. This is the wake up wrap. Check it out, Brad. I, I don't want to wake up to that personally. That, that looks like a hangover. You wake up to a hangover. And people think wraps are healthy. This is the opposite, but I have to try it for the sake of the video, so hold on. I'm gonna chase it with some snacking bacon. Which I'll talk about it in a second. Only in America can you order a side of snacking bacon. That's so wrong. It tastes, well, sorry, I'm a pig, oh my God. <laughs> no, keep it in the video, baby. Where? Oh, thank you, Brad. Like Larry David here using 100 napkins in my video. Okay, the wrap is not healthy, okay? Wake up wrap, unlike the power breakfast sandwich and the veggie, veggie uh, egg white sandwich, the primary oil, the very third ingredient is GMO soybean oil as opposed to extra virgin olive oil. That's par for the course for fast food, but it's a major no-no. The wrap is made with enriched flour, which has no nutrition. The uh, multi-grain thin is made with complex carbohydrates, but they're also using nasty, nasty soybean oil and, wait for it, hydrogenated cottonseed oil in the wrap. You almost never see cottonseed oil at the store because it is the most GMO, highly processed agricultural seed oil that is devastating. Yes, devastating for your health. I do see it because I'm in the grocery store every day, but I've never seen it hydrogenated, which means they made it toxic to like Fukushima nuclear. Hydrogenating is so bad because it turns it into a trans fatty acid that really increases the risk of heart disease and stuff like that. So that's a new one. I haven't seen that. And there's dough conditioners and they put the processed um, cheese in here, like the, uh, the processed pasteurized single there. So that's a major, major note. Do not get that. Stick with my favorite power breakfast sandwich for the win. Mm.
Mmm, that's good. And look, my bread wants a piece too. We'll come here for breakfast tomorrow, bro. How about that? Baba Donnie's leaving town tomorrow anyway. She's going back to Bulgaria for five months, so we're gonna have to come here for breakfast now, huh, Brad? Um, Brad will have that and a little bit of signature butter pecan. I'll be hyped up for the day. Um, please don't get the snacking bacon. So it's so sweet. Only in America will we have snacking bacon. But the problem is, yes, it's made with really low quality bacon that has sodium erythrobate and sodium phosphates, which are two horrible preservatives found in cheap bacon, but they add sugar to make it sweet. They add something called refinery syrup. Have you ever heard of that, Brad? I don't know. Is that like the leftover stuff from the refinery oil mills down in Texas? I don't know what refinery syrup is. And there's soybean and caramel coloring. Why are you putting caramel coloring on bacon? I think bacon looks plenty beautiful already. So that's a hard no on that. Uh, and then there is another sandwich on the menu, this guy. So I, I bobbified this one. This is the turkey sausage egg and cheese sandwich. But you'll notice it's on the multi-grain thin because normally it comes on the English muffin, which is a simple carb enriched wheat muffin that has no nutrition. And it also has soybean oil and, uh, let me see, it also has dough conditioner, soybean oil, and palm oil. So if you ask them to bobbify it, they'll be like, what are you talking about? Who's Bobby? Like, okay, just get rid of the English muffin and get my favorite multi-grain thin on there. All of a sudden, oh, I put this a pretty decent sandwich because it has that turkey sausage on there. I don't like the fake cheese. I might ask for it with the uh, white cheddar, which is real. This is the processed um, cheese product. But by swapping out the bun, man, I'm getting hooked on this food. Bobby runs on Duncan now. Oh, that coffee is so good. Let me check my notes here for investigative reporter Bobby. We're good. All right, my friends, that is it. Dunkin' Donuts review done. Overall, I'm actually really, really happy. They kind of blew me away with certain items, especially my favorite new breakfast sandwich that would come in here, Brad, every day to crunch, <laughs> crush on. Um, where should we go next? Brad and I are thinking, based upon your feedback, which we always listen to, uh, Taco Bell, uh, Wendy's, Burger King. Uh, leave a comment down below. We want to know. Uh, like, subscribe, share. That's the only way the community keeps growing, but it's also the only way we help you all put the best quality stuff in your body. Thank you to the Dunkin' Donuts manager for letting us film in here. That was very nice of him. Uh, but that is it for Brad, myself, and the whole gang. We leave you like we always do. Snacking bacon for the win. <laughs> Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, y'all.